in three, two, one, go. It's time for match number 80 over here on Curie 126, lining up Gale Force. They've got a cargo. They're trying to get it in the side of the ship for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, OP Robotics lining up for their second hatch panel. Something interesting that OP does is that they place two hatch panels and then they leave a hatch panel off of the side of the cargo ship. And then once it's time for teleoperated period, they're able to grab the cargo quickly and immediately put it in the rocket. They understand that completing a rocket is essential to high ranking and they're currently at number seven. So I think that they obviously know how to do something. Speaking of 2056, they're currently being played by some intense defense by the Viking bots who are making sure that they can't get this hatch panel placed easily. Meanwhile, their partner Bedford Express on the Blue Alliance is helping out placing hatch panels on the rocket. They're hoping to have a double rocket match here on the Blue Alliance. It's going to be tough, but it has been done before. We have just under a minute and a half left in this match. Gale Force lining up. They've got another hatch panel. They're going to head over to try to place it on the rocket. However, the test team from Ontario, they're also playing some really tough defense up against the Red Alliance, including Theory 6, who is able to just get another cargo off and into the rocket for Red. We have 60 seconds left in this match. Ugh. Unfortunately for Bedford Express and the Blue Alliance, looks like one of their hatch panels was not on securely enough. So when they put a cargo in it, it fell down. That means that they are losing points for the cargo and the hatch panel. OP Robotics able to place two quick pieces of cargo into the side of the ship for the Blue Alliance. These alliances are neck in neck. We have 35 seconds left and only four points are differentiating these two alliances. Bedford Express lifting up quickly, placing a piece of cargo into the rocket for the Blue Alliance. Theory 6 is trying to get another piece of cargo there, chasing it around the field. We have 20 seconds left. Bedford needs one more cargo. They've got it to finish the rocket for the Blue Alliance. Now these teams are headed over to their hab level levels to climb. Bedford does a quick three second climb. Test team OP have two level twos. Meanwhile, 126, so close, but not quite making it up onto Hab level two to finish out that match. Unicorn match, that means they got four ranking points. Two for winning, one for the rocket, one for climbing. That means that all four of the Blue Alliance robots are moving up in the rankings. OP Robotics was at seven, now they're at four, and Bedford Express...